Welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to another Sit Rep episode of Brick Mania TV. Sit Rep episode. Sit Rep episode. Uh, this is uh, Friday. Friday morning. Sir. Friday morning. Why don't we start with something that we don't have? You see, there's a ton of crap on the table. I mean, there's stuff. A ton. a ton of awesomeness. A ton of awesomeness on the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you don't see is that right now, we have an auction going on, eBay. We, this is like part two. We did one of these about six months ago. We said mm -hmm. we'd do it again, and we are. We have 66 display, former display models for, that were returned from Brickmania stores. Of course, Brickmania has several retail stores. When something sells out, we, don't, we typically take the display copies out of the stores. And by demand, we, we, popular demand, I guess, we decided we're going to sell those display models off. Right now, we have 66 of them up on, up on the site, up on eBay. You have to go to eBay. You cannot get them through Brickmania. It is an auction, which means you have to bid on them. Um, they will end in about a week from the time you see this video. Um, follow the link below and you will see how to go, what's up for auction. Uh, they will be ending about every five minutes. So <laughs> I, I timed it so they, they all end five minutes apart. So okay. uh, exactly a week from now, Saturday a week from now, um, they will be ending every five minutes starting at five or nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> starting every five minutes too, right? Yeah, I did that. So a couple days ago they all oh, started sure. every yep. five minutes. <laughs> it's a 10 day, 10 day long auction. It's just to give everybody enough time to get, get to check them out. But lots of, from World War One through sci-fi, you know, the, the Dark Future series, a little bit of everything. Most of it's World War II, the, the big bulk of, of the, uh, the auction is World War II, but there's some Cold War stuff in there, some Vietnam stuff, Peep, Pibber, so there's lots of really cool stuff that you're not gonna be able to get anywhere else. Yeah, definitely. It's all, it's all currently sitting on our tables in the, in the warehouse. Yeah. It's fun to walk we'll, we'll, by Yeah, we'll, we'll show you a, a pan across, of, across it all. It's Very fun cool. to put it all together. So yeah. that's just the next se next in the series. We'll do another one again. So if you don't see what you're looking for this time, you might see it again. But last chance to get a lot of these older out of production Brick Mania models. It's really cool stuff. <laughs> Uh, all right, where do you want to start? Do you want to start with promotions? Do you want to start with restocks? Should we, we give something away? A rest uh, you, you said it first. Restocks? Restocks. restocks. So <laughs> massive restock week. Um, let's just go over it. They're, they're kind of everywhere, but we'll have to. Well, they're in the back. Should we start with new releases? Let's see, yeah, new releases. It's all right there. We've already <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> yeah, these have separate videos. So yeah, you, you can be sick of seeing the two of us this weekend for sure. Um, <clears throat> so AMX 13. Um, French light tank, but this one's dressed up in the Israeli Six Day War uh, color scheme. You do get some a, a sticker pack that gives give you some uh, uh, for unit basically unit designs, unit logos. Um, you get a little bit of lateral play in which way, way you want to do it. it. Does come with this nice figure, full 360 printed figure. Right, which is for for a smaller kit that's kind of unusual for us. Okay. But we don't have we don't sell Israeli tankers separately, so the only way you're going to get it is with the kit. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are available now. Separate video. If you go to the website, you'll see it. Take these guys off. New here. custom Actually, 3D printed Brickmania elements in that kit too. Right, right. Br Brickmania elements, brick arms, barrel. This is kind of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Handmade stuff. Uh, also new. World War II British Airmen figure pack, sticker pack. Sticker packs. Um, you get enough stickers. You get basically. Stickers to do six complete figures. And boot uh, stickers included in that. You get the boots, yeah, legs, and then you have three with life preservers and three without. So cool. that is available. These are you don't get the parts, you'll have to come up with your own stuff, your own your mm -hmm. own figure parts, but dark dark blue Lego figures are not hard to come by. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. And the stickers are opaque. They will they will cover up any mm -hmm. would that normally be police or something? It'd be dark blue, I think it was Yeah, the, maybe uh, some some sci-fi figures. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, and then we also have the Opal Blitz and, let's see, we move that. Canvas add-on. Opal Blitz, yep. Here. And then the can <laughs> Canvas add-on packs so here. These two packs. Also, also in a separate video. Yep, this is this is another new release. So the Opal Blitz is, is nominally, you could say it's a restock. There's a few minor changes in it, uh, mostly to make it cheaper. And then the Canvas cover add-on pack, which will work if you have one of the older Opal Blitz you can use this to adjust your uh, current or your old one to the current standards. Yeah. So and make yourself a covered Opal Blitz German Army truck, uh, winter jackets, and other good stuff to put in there. Sold separately, I guess, right? Yeah. Also <laughs> right. Don't let General Winter uh, ruin your uh, campaign. <laughs> and then, and then another one. This is kind of the, the last of the new new releases. Um, this is the Lewis Gun aircraft version. So this is a unique brick arms element. Um, 
So we had the, previously had a, a Lewis gun. Will switched to a buildable Lewis gun system and made an aircraft version. So it doesn't have the big, big metal sleeve over the barrel. Mm -hmm. It has this cool anti-aircraft paddle. And it has a bigger, it's like a t the ammunition drum is twice as big because they can't, you couldn't reload your ammunition drum while you're <laughs> flying an airplane. So these are typically on aircraft. Um, you will see them later being used. Uh, they, did, they just discovered after World War I that you could actually fire the Lewis gun without the big metal sleeve on it. So they did strip them down sure. and start, especially in World War II. But it's buildable. Let me show you what I mean by buildable. It does come apart in pieces. And you don't have to use this big anti, this big targeting paddle here. Uh, but you do have a four-piece gun. Um, let me show you that there is a mounting point on the bottom of that that you can stick onto a lever base. Um, just like the other Lewis guns and uh, some like Lego. Maxim. Yeah, Lego so, lever base. So le Lego lever base. You can also use a C-clip or I mean, a U-clip or um, you know any, any clip with tile with clip or something to mount that if you wanted to mount it on your aircraft fixed position. Mm -hmm. um, did we use, did, is that in the Newport? We did, uh, yeah, it's on the Newport. It's on the Newport. So I, put, I put a bipod and that. I don't think it had the, the gun sight on it though. Sure, yeah, you didn't use the gun sight. So. Yeah. so that's previously the only way you could get that gun was the Newport. And of course it does have a printed crate that comes with it. So you get the, the full pack um, experience. That's cool. So yeah. it all fits in the crate and you can build it yourself. Yeah. Is that, so that's, has that been sold separately before? That no, never. Okay. Never. Um, we knew, you know, Brick Arms had this available, but he never did anything with it. So we're like, well, let's, we know we sure. can get the parts. Yeah. Let's put it together. Let's sell it. And of course, it gives us another crate because we are we are fiendish crate collectors. <laughs> <laughs> put us all together. So this is what your 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 experience will be when you get it. So custom printed crate and gun. Full full gun. Yep. And then, of course, some custom packaging. So Awesome. Yes. So that's it for new releases. New, yes. That's all we got for new. All right, so we got some restocks coming up. Uh, you want to start with that. the big one first? The big one. <laughs> so the big one uh, is the Osprey. So those people who astutely watch our website will know that this came out on Tuesday. Yep. And it's selling like crazy. It's so hopefully by hopefully. the time <laughs> this video comes out, there will still be some left. Yeah. Um, the, the Osprey, of course, was Marine Corps. Yep. Um, we landed on a WASP class right. carrier. Amphibious <laughs> transport. So. Amphibious assault ship. Sorry, I got yeah. I got to watch how, how I throw well, it. Well, it's an aircraft. It, it, it'll on, work on out. On the carrier. <laughs> right. The Marine Corps, the, I guess the Navy's amphibious assault mm -hmm. ships are bigger than most countries' regular aircraft carriers. Yeah. So I think we can call it an aircraft carrier. I <laughs> <laughs> I've been made fun of Not, before, though, Dan. Uh, yes. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Can't help so, that. <laughs> so we're still planning on building that, right? We are. We are. We're building in this in this very space. It will mm -hmm. be on display at soon. Soon. Yeah. Next to the Missouri. Look real cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we talk about what else is, since that's related, we right. have these marine minifigures. So here. we have modern marine riflemen, and they come in a packaging like this, the little cool egg-shaped packaging, so you can see front and back front and back of the figure, so you know exactly what you're getting. Because we know how to innovate here <laughs> at Brick <Brickmania. laughs> Yeah. We can show you off um, the whole minifigure at once. So we have three colors, uh, three skin tones. Yep. Um, All marines are green, but they come in... <laughs> they come in various shades of brown and pale, pale to brown. <laughs> yep. And so they're in a Mart Pat like camouflage. Right. So that they have a, a tan base um, on yes. the printing. And yeah. then how you tell them apart easily when you're at the store is the. Oh, wait, we've got one of these. These are Army guys. The huh? Army rifle. Yeah. And are, uh, they have a, they're they're multi similar multicam, so they have a different different color base. So we do have these, and same same the the army riflemen do come in three skin tones as well. Yep, so. and they have uh, M4 tactical rifles. Right. So each one of these comes. We don't usually give away guns with minifigures, mm -hmm. but figured the riflemen they should have rifles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a cool uh, is that minifig cat goggles on a brick arms helmet. It is. It's brick arms helmet. Those are goggle covers from uh, Minifig Cat, um, just because it's you see them so often. We're like mm -hmm. we, need, we need to have these on our on our on our figures. So this comes out the same week as the Osprey. So Osprey. If you, if you buy your um, Marines, you can stick them in the Osprey. In right. The back. Yeah. You, you'll need a whole bunch of them. Yeah. You'll need a, whole, <laughs> a lot. And a whole bunch of Ospreys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Um, moving on, we have the Brick Mania Perfect Caliber Brick Arms. M27 IAR. So this would be another, this would be a great up, up, you know, what is it, upsell? I don't know if that's the right word. Uh, you want to upgrade. Yeah. There you go. Upgrade <laughs> your Marine riflemen. So these are more like a squad 
uh, uh, fire support weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically going to replace the saw. Um, <laughs> and it's become so popular that they're actually, they're, there's a push in the Marine Corps to replace the M4s with these uh, M27s, mm -hmm. like universally. So higher rate of fire, um, bigger bigger magazine. Uh, I'm sure that there's people that, that, that can tell you a whole lot more about this gun, because I'm, yeah. <laughs> I like to shoot guns, I'm not a super expert on it. <laughs> right. um, so we've printed these before, we've had them sail a la carte, and now we're printing on them with some custom details. Right, so this is actually a, Brick Arms Proto. These are all handmade from, from Will's hand making these himself one at a time. And, mm -hmm. and then we make them even more special by printing on them. So, <laughs> so, but you can buy them individually or you can buy them with the printing or without. The perfect caliber, mm -hmm. of course, come with the printing on it. And that printing is bulletproof. I mean, it's. Yeah, the, it's not coming off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's UV coated on there and you can't get that. The, the ABS that the, the, the gun is made out of would be it's softer than the actual material that print, that's printed on it. So, <laughs> it's like tooth enamel or something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. So, speaking of that printing, what we can also do with that printing is we can raise up the ink off of the yeah. surface of whatever we're printing on. So that is we do multiple mask, layers. Right? Yeah, so we have to get um, World War One gas mask head tan. It's the French design print. gas mask. It would be perfect for either U.S. troops or, uh, or French, of course. So, Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So that's, uh, that's new. Yeah, well, that's a restock. Not to restock. It's, re it's, it's just it, in the restock category. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it it's doesn't really met, go with the rest of the theme, but it, sure. it's there. Yeah. Uh, and there's some others as well. So everybody's been waiting for this. <laughs> the 40-foot flat car, USATC, meaning the United States Army Transportation Corps, they made these 40-foot flat cars uh, in World War II. This is eight wide scale, so it's a little bit different. 148th scale versus our normal Brick Mania 135th scale. Um, this is to go behind the S160 locomotive, which of course right now is sold out. We can't keep any of this stuff in stock. So yeah. the <laughs> locomotive's being restocked as we speak. We did make another batch of 50 flat cars. Of course, they are going to go fast, mm -hmm. as probably as fast as the first batch. And then we, just a reminder, we have the 148th scale Sherman tank that fits perfectly on the flat car. Mm -hmm. um, that's designed to make a, um, you know, a nice eight wide train load, uh, load, I guess, load out for your S160. Yeah. It's different scale, a little bit smaller than the Brick Mania typical scale, but it looks really good with the minifig. Oh, it looks so, awesome, so. especially if you buy multiple of everything, you can put it all <laughs> behind your train. <laughs> and you can, you can turn your 40-foot uh, flat car into a 50-foot flat car and put two of these on it, so yeah, you'd have to get your own parts for that. But yeah. it does come well, with a USATC sticker set that would be work either way. So. Could they buy two and rebuild it to make it longer? Two of these? Yeah. Yeah, then you'll have double the wheel sets. These have custom BMR wheel sets. They're bearings, roller mm -hmm. bearing wheel sets. So it's Lego wheels, but custom axle and custom uh, bearings holding it in. Basically, you can keep adding these. If, you, if you're familiar with Lego trains, you will know that they squeak and the, the, the bearings, the, the whatever, the bearing list connections, connectors that hold the wheels on for Lego trains are terrible. They're, they have a huge drag and you can get like four little cars and then your train will run out of power and won't be able to pull anymore. These just kind of chafe over time too. Right, and the roller <laughs> bearings change all that. We can make these gigantic trains, eight wide trains, um, are a good scale. Um, if we were to do a 135th scale, like building like our tanks, they would be huge and, um, you like, know. Like Bruno size. Right, right. So <laughs> very, very, I would say unaffordable, but not, not exactly at entry level. Right. We, we yeah. will make some more Bruno type stuff in the future, but mm -hmm. uh, for the time being, the, the standard, and this is the standard of most of the train, Lego train clubs, the, the LTCs out there are using this eight wide scale. Yep. So we, yeah, it's a great scale. we're building for you guys. <laughs> uh, what is this, Stan? That is Blitzkrieg Bricks. So this is not a restock, this is new. It's new, I think new it already has, it. last week we, last we, week. we unveiled it, but um, it, we're still, I, we're hyped about it because it's selling like crazy. Our, our, our team are making them as fast as we can. I mean, literally running the press from morning till, till, till you know, morning, noon, and night. Uh, and then we have, of course, we have to hand, hand bind them. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. There's, a, there's a crazy sticker sheet that comes in each one. This is the hottest item we have right now. It's a big book, too. And you get some cool warplanes in there, some things that people have been asking for yeah. for a long time. One it's plane. You get the, you get the <laughs> Stuka. The Stuka is so massive that we only fit one plane in this yeah. book. <laughs> and, uh, and there's things that have never been kits before that are also Yeah, like in this eight, book. eight or nine models have never been released before. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. So watch the, look this separate video to see what's inside that. So uh, yeah, that's a production <laughs> one. All right, so we have some promotions coming up next. Promotions. This is actually add-on pack week. Yes, so 20% so off through Thursday. Of 
of next week. Yeah. <laughs> Today's this Friday. is coming out Friday, so you got a whole week to take advantage. Add-on pack week. All add-on packs are 20% off. So we'll just go through some of the ones that we have. So you have the M1025 Humvee. It's a um, canvas add-on. Is that the? No, that's that's the turtle. Ooh, that's a turtle shell. Yeah, it's the armored the, the turtle shell. Semi-armored, I should say. <laughs> Semi-armored. <laughs> Armored against flies hitting the windshield. Wait. We have the Jeep canvas trailer add-on pack. Yep. So that goes... Uh, so these are add-ons to other kits. If you have maybe an older kit, a lot of these will actually work with them. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, this is the time. If you've been sitting on the fence thinking about getting an add-on pack, uh, now is the time. I mean, you're not going to get it. 20% <laughs> off is a pretty good deal. Yeah. Uh, we have the M4 Maxim MG AA mount for your gas. Yep. And... We have the canvas cover for the Humvee. Ah, there we go. Canvas. I knew it was in the pile. <laughs> it's in there. Yep. Um, we have the canvas cab cover and winch pack for the CCKW. It comes with a 50 caliber machine gun. And we have the T-34 Calliope add-on for your Sherman. We have the canvas bed cover pack for the CCKW. Yep. And the canvas bed cover pack for the gas AAA. So if you want your troops <laughs> to have covers, <laughs> this is the time packs. you've got. And then the Opal Blitz, of course, I already had it. So. Keeps your fingers from getting dusty. Hey, are we, is the Opal Blitz part of that yeah. add-on special? Hey, hey. <laughs> Brand new. So 20% off a new set. Uh, one thing that we don't have on this table is also if you have the Black Bess, it's that Mark IV tank. Mm -hmm. You can get the Black Bess add-on pack. Um, we just don't have a copy of it here. That is also part of the part of the offer. We are currently sold out of the actual base kit, um, but if you wanted to get one of the add-on packs for your Black Bess, that's now's the time to do it. We will be making more Black Bess base kits in the future, so you can always buy the add-on pack now in uh, mm -hmm. anticipation that we will actually release another batch when it comes up, when a spot <laughs> is available in the production queue. You guys are, you're killing us. You're buying the stuff faster than we can make it. We know there's some of you out there that have black besses without the add-on packs. Right. <laughs> we know. We know. All right, so next week's giveaway prizes. We have a draft copy of the Bricks Creek Bricks book. This is, it feels thicker. Probably not, though. <laughs> um, it's, it's just loose. Copy. It's not shrink wrapped. Right. <laughs> so, so well, hashtag that, gives giveaway. Is that is this is this is the one? So use hashtag Brickmania on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how you get entered into the contest. Put put some cool cool pictures. We'll share it uh, during the sit rep. Mm -hmm. uh, and this week's winner. This week's winner is. Dogs are cool. Dogs are cool from Twitter. <laughs> from Twitter. And he has a picture of a World War II German ambush mock. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, that looks very cool. Right. I like it. Uh, what does he win? What he, he wins. He wins he the win. he wins he wins the draft copy. We'll do it. That's We're doing it. We're gonna do. Is Maybe that two weeks in a row? Why not? We've got a couple. We got to actually stack. So, <laughs> if you find some typos in here, <laughs> you'll know it's a draft copy. Mar uh, Marnies. Before, yeah. Before, <laughs> I don't think there's any Marnies. In there. Uh, but before we send it out, of course, we will, we will, we will deface it with our autographs. <laughs> Perfect. That's what everybody likes. Yeah. Defacing stuff. Yeah. So cool. remember, hashtag Brickmania. Um, I follow the hashtag Brickmania. Did you know you can follow it? I didn't. You can follow the hashtag. I so probably I, do I that. go to in Instagram. I follow it. I get cool. Brickmania shout outs every day in my in right. my in my feed. It's great. It's cool. So, if so I think there's only like nine other people that follow it. So you can actually yeah. did you know if you go look go follow it. It's it's a cool feature. I've seen a lot of people use the hashtag, but yeah, following it definitely helps. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps me entertained, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> See the latest cool stuff. All right. Well, that's wraps up our episode of the sit rep. Join us next time for another sit rep or other videos of new product releases. Right. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell on YouTube and visit us at brickmania.com. Or in one of our stores. Or one of our stores. We're in a new store. Yeah. Mall of America. Yeah, we're in the we're in the new Minneapolis GHQ store. Not open to the public yet. So Mall of America, Woodfield Mall in in uh, Schaumburg, Illinois. Mm -hmm. See you guys next time. <laughs>